my underwear is showing. Indecency is a sin. I can't scoot anymore. <laughs> I've painted so many Bob Ross paintings in my life, it's just not a challenge no more, okay? See, there's one up there. See that? Perfection. I'm ready to move on to the next challenge, the next step, and that's obviously Bob Ross by the numbers. Um, because, like I always say, if you can paint it big, then you should try painting small, because that's a completely different thing. So, we're gonna start off by um, adjusting the camera angle. So today, we're gonna do Bob Ross by the numbers, which basically means we're gonna paint a tiny, tiny little Bob Ross painting, okay? I'ma I'm let y'all choose, okay? Y'all have the option of painting Bob himself, which is very conceited. You could paint this little house with a tree, or you could paint these mountains with trees, okay? It's completely y'all's choice, okay? Whatever you choose out of the three is the one we're gonna paint. Let's begin. First, we gotta look at everything we have. Perfect. So the one that y'all chose is the scenic landscape right here. Okay, this one. This is the one we're gonna be painting. Oh no, my painting. What you're gonna wanna do is open all these little duders. All your little paint duders. No, I spilt my paint duder. So what has happened so far? Um, I have spilt all of my white duder paint everywhere, which is fine because, I mean, it's white anyway, so just don't paint it. If anything, I found a loophole. Let's continue. Okay, do not spill the yellow duder. Oh Lord. They're just prone to falling over, okay? They were made to topple. Y'all remember those little toys where you punch them in the face and they'd fall down? Do you? Hold on. Oh no, my duder fell. <laughs> Everything's a duder, okay? Or a dudette. We live in 2018. Oh no, I need something to rinse out my, a duder to rinse out my brush, hold on. This didn't come with something that you could wash your duder brush out with, so I brought a, a water cap full of water so I could wash my brush, okay? If y'all never done Bob Ross by the numbers uh, like me, they basically tell you what number is what color and that's what you paint it, okay? Pretty simple. You wanna take a little bit of this blue crimson, this dude or blue, and you just wanna paint the sky, okay? Paint a little bit of sky right here. I like to sometimes paint outside of the lines because it lets the paint know that I'm in charge. We're gonna to wanna to wash our duder. Oh no, my duder. There goes my sky. This right here is a five. What's five? Five is purple. There's no purple, I don't see any, hold on, bub. Blue plus red, okay. I could have told you that. So we need purple, so that's a mixture of, well, let's just take some right here, okay? Take some of your spilt duder blue and some of your red right here. Mix it together. It's okay if the color bleeds into another number that you're not supposed to paint that color because, I mean, that's nature. It does that. This is a five. Fuchsia. I'm learning today. Red plus purple. You mean I gotta make purple and then mix another purple? <laughs> Hold on, Bob. So I gotta make purple. So add blue, add red, make purple. Wait, and then add red? We just add, that don't make no sense at all, okay? Oh, well that made a whole different color, didn't it? This little dude right here is blue. It's okay if some of your paint decides to run down the whole entire painting. Don't you worry about that, okay? That's art, that's, that's meant to happen sometimes. This right here is a duder. I can't stress enough the importance of washing out your brush because if you don't, you end up with uh, a mixture of colors you didn't even know existed. Even though just a minute ago, you had no idea that fuchsia was even a color name. So it looks like we've done all the blues here. Let's move on. Number eights. Eights are some type of gray, bluish green that I'm sure I'm gonna have to make. What is that to y'all? Green? Gray? Blue? Teal? I don't know. Let's go out on a happy tree limb and say that's teal. Green and blue. Oh no, my duder. Oh good. You can't tell that it fell into paint. <laughs> oh no, my duder fell. Now we're gonna color all the threes because there's very, very many of them. Okay, this is a three. 
Oh, it looks just like the water in the trees I just did. Perfect. It's going to match. I love it when things match. Like that. Perfect. Okay. This. This is a duder. Six is like a green, yellow, tan? I don't know. I'm just going to mix green and yellow because that is exactly what it looks like. Oh, beautiful baby poop green is the color we're going to be using for all of our sixes. Okay, a seven is more of a, a darker green, yellow, tan than what we did before. So I'm just going to take green, okay, and color all the sevens. We're just going to continue on. We don't make mistakes. We just sometimes make mistakes. Here we go. Oh, we're done. Oh, cool. That's great. I love it. We finished the paint. Now I just want to want to let it naturally dry. It's stuck to the easel. You'll notice that happens when you do it incorrectly. <sighs> now that it's dry, I just want to show y'all up close the magic that could happen if you really just take your time and, and make happy little duders using your little duder paints, okay? And that's a, that's a Bob Ross Duder painting right there. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. I forgot to put my signature on it uh, before I stuck this in gum. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign this real quick with my signature. I'm better. Um, put that right back on the easel. And we're just going to let that sit overnight, okay? And in the morning, we're going to heavily contemplate throwing it in the garbage. Um... But this this has been a really fun time for me and a fun time for you as well, I can tell, since you're still here. So make sure you tune in next week when we do another painting. Um, maybe even better than this. I doubt it. That's near perfection. Um, we won't be sticking this in gum anymore and we won't be spilling as many duders, okay? But we don't make accidents, okay? We, make, we do make mistakes, though. So now I'm just going to put this underneath the Christmas tree and let this just sit. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. Maybe it'll... I don't know what I'm thinking it's going to do. It's just going to sit, okay? Let's let's put this up in. So you want to grab your duder, okay? You want to you wanna put it underneath the Christmas tree like this, okay? With all your other Bob Ross memorabilia, okay? Such as that. And then you're going to want to sit right back down because you got up way too fast, okay? Let's be honest. You got up way too fast. You're dizzy. You're, you're super dizzy. You just want to lay back down, okay? You're going to want to just... You're just going to want to do this real quick, okay? Take a quick little nap. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you come back.